welcome everyone so today we are going to talk about an important topic in organic chemistry which is co epoxidation so this is going to be a very short video so before starting my video i would like to request you guys to subscribe to my channel and help me grow this will only help me to you know put up <coughs> very important content which will be useful for you to crack various entrance exam so what is c c epoxidation so as this figure clearly illustrates this it is used for the epoxidation of olefins and what you get is an absolutely handsome enantiomer selectivity so e in this case is pretty high and the catalyst you use is a fructose based dioxidant okay now let's look. so what is a c c epoxidation basically this is generally used for the asymmetric synthesis of trans dio tri substitute epoxide using a dioxidant which is formed from a fructose derived ketone we will see here in a minute but let us just emphasize on this one so far what we know is that if we wish to carry out the allylic epoxidation in very high ee or in with, with very very good enantiomer selectivity then we always go for sharp plus asymmetric epoxidation and whenever we wish to resolve the terminal epoxides the method of choice is jacobson epoxidation and whenever we wish to carry out the asymmetric epoxidation of di substituted and tri substituted epoxide it is she epoxidation which is the method of choice okay to humne ab tak kya dekha humne dekha hai ki jaise ki main sahi sahi usi baat ko fir se hindi mein repeat kar raha hu ab tak humne dekha hai ki hamara jo method of choice jab hum allylic oxidation ki baat karte hain तो होता है शार्पनेस एसिमेट्रिक ऑक्सीडेशन ठीक है और अगर हमको टर्मिनल ऑलिफिन को रिजोल्व करना हो अगर हमको मतलब टर्मिनल इपोक्साइड हमें अगर हाई नाइनशो सिलेक्टिविटी में चाहिए तो हम यूजली जेकोपन इपोक्सीडेशन करते हैं बट अगर हमको कोई हमारा डाई और ट्राई सब्सिड्यूट इपोक्साइड मतलब काफी ज्यादा यू नो नंबर ऑफ फंक्शनैलिटीज आर वेरी हाई तो उस केस में इनेंशियो सिलेक्टिविटी हमें अचीव करनी हो तो शीप ऑक्सीडेशन इज द मैटर ऑफ चॉइस और इस केस के अंदर जो कैटलिस्ट होता है इट्स अ फक्स फ्रक्टोज बेस्ड कीटोन सो वी आर गोइंग टू लुक एट हाउ दिस इज सिंथेसाइज सो इफ यू स्टार्ट फ्रॉम अ फक्सटोर फ्रक्टोज एंड दिस सिंथेसिस वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इट कैन बी आज इन एग्जाम एज वेल सो द फर्स्ट स्टेप इन इटसेल्फ इज द एसिटोनेट प्रोटेक्शन व्हिच इज 13 व्हाट दिस 13 डायोल इज प्रोटेक्टेड एज एसिटोनेट इन प्रेजेंस ऑफ एच सी एल ओ फोर एज अ कैटलिस्ट नो द नेक्स्ट स्टेप इज दी सो वट हैपन्स वन थ्री प्रोटेक्शन हेयर एंड दीज टू सिस मोइटीज आर ऑल्सो प्रोटेक्टेड एट द सेम टाइम एंड देन द रिमेनिंग सेकेंडरी विच इज ऑक्सीडाइज यूजिंग पेरिडीनियम क्लोरोक्रोमेट टू गेट द फ्रक्टोज डेराइव कैटलिस्ट विच इज यूज फॉर द रिएक्शन नो दिस रिएक्शन क्लियरली रिप्रेजेंट्स अ वेरी जनरल केस सो एज आई सजेस्ट इट इज यूज दिस फ्रक्टोज बेस्ड कैटलिस्ट इज यूज फॉर द इपॉक्सीडेशन ऑफ ट्रांसोलिफिन and what you need is an oxidant in the reaction which could be oxone or any other species and you need a buffer media for this particular reaction now as the method developed further and further people were able to develop modify this she catalyst further okay where if you have okay so this this figure clearly very very beautifully and handsomely depicts i mean what sort of an epoxidation it can bring about if we slightly you know vary this fructose based catalyst now when this is acetonate which is this case then it is perfectly works fine with the trans olefin so in case if you wish to carry out the epoxidation of cis olefin in high enantiomer selectivity that instead of you know instead of uh, instead of an acetonate group what you should have is a carbamate moiety where n is bog protected it means you will have to have an oxygen here carbonyl here and n bog at this position okay the rest is the same so that would work perfectly fine for the silk olefin and if you wish to go for the terminal olefin and if we want them in very high enantiomer selectivity then this is the functional group that you must introduce okay that's the only thing but as far as your slabers is concerned it is only this catalyst that you must be aware of which is works, perf works perfectly fine for the trans olefins which are tri or di so these are the two examples that i have taken okay of course the catalyst you have used and what i said that the oxidizing agent is more or often than not is oxone or potassium peroxo monosulfate and uh, this is the uh, selectivity you get the product you end up uh, end up getting in this case is always you know uh, oxygen approach approaches from the top face so the epoxide that you get is always beta okay this is the example which clearly depicts it 
handsome yield and very good in anxious activity this is very good e and similarly in this case this is a trans olefin we can clearly see this is tri substituted and in order to get good in anxious activity the reaction must be pretty good so here we get this epoxide as well in very very good e and again the approach of epoxide is from the beta phase so these are the things that you must keep in mind okay so this was about the sheep oxidation do send me your comments in case if you have any confusions let me know about the topic which you want me to cover and uh, yeah subscribe to the channel share it with your friends and have a nice day thank you very much